Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life, and today I've got a very simple project that I think the ladies are going to love. Hi, this is Jerry, and I have a project today that I want to show you that I think the ladies are going to love. Guys, I'm sorry to add to your <laughs> workload, but I think the results are going to be great. This video all stems from the RV tour that I did some time ago. Here, here's a link for it up here in the top card. If you haven't seen a tour of our RV and all the things that we've done and some of the modifications that we've done, I think you'll enjoy seeing the furniture upgrades and those types of things. But back to the project. Joan wanted a place to where she could put her makeup on and dry her hair. Uh, we had traveled for about a year and inside the bathroom, um, I, this is going to sound not good, <laughs> but I don't know how else to say it. Joan would be spending all the time in the bathroom, foo-fooing up and making herself very, very pretty. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, however long it took her to do it, and I wanted to take a shower. So partly self-serving, I wanted to create this space so that I could get her out of the bathroom and so I could get my shower. But above and beyond all that, she absolutely loves this. Let me show you what I did. You'll notice this is the closet area where the washer and dryer goes. You can actually see I never covered the washer and dryer area back in the back. Uh, Joan and I have had some discussions that we may put a mirror back there at some point in time. So if you look here in a close-up of what I've actually done, I built a simple little shelf. And I'll give you, I wish I would have taken some time and actually um, videoed me making the shelf, but it's not a, it was not a very, very big effort. And I'll go into the, some of the details here, but you can actually see her makeup area. Then um, I've had some comments, and you can see our catch-all space that's up there in the top. Um, you know, what does she do for lighting? What does she do for a mirror? Or for a lighting, this is just a very inexpensive fluorescent light um, that I purchased, I want to say, at Walmart. Uh, and it has a cord that you plug in into the back and two small little screws. And it gives a ton of light. Uh, as you can see, as the camera adjusts, this makes it a very, very bright area. The second thing, so she can do the close-up on putting her eye makeup and doing her eyebrows and all the things that ladies do. Um, this is a, a little makeup mirror. It's battery operated. The reason that we've got this as a battery operated light is in case we're dry camping somewhere and she needs to be able to do the stop. This is an AC fluorescent light, but this is a battery light. I think she bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I think they sell them on Amazon as well. I'm not very, very sure. The other thing that's very, very handy here is we just put some of these um, some of these hooks here where she'll hang things like her necklaces that she wears, all of her costume stuff. We don't put the expensive stuff back here. We put that in the safe. Uh, we've actually got a safe here. So this is a great little thing. Let me get down below and I'll kind of show you the construction of how this actually came together. I'll kind of come up close here. This is nothing more than just a U. Um, it was a, it's just something very, very simple. And um, I think I made, made it about a quarter inch um, shorter, narrower than it needed to be so that I could have room to be able to make it fit. A little bit of custom work that had to occur here. Um, you'll see where I had to actually work around a drainage pipe. So I had to, it, you know, not too creative there. Um, but, you know, just to go ahead and give the full space. Um, one of the other things that you'll notice here is <clears throat> I did uh, put uh, a piece on the side and the back uh, this is medium density fiberboard. Um, without that, I was just afraid that, you know, as we hit bumps and things like that, it would, you know, fall into the closet. Uh, these shelves are, are nothing very fancy. Um, you know, this is where Joan puts things like hairbrushes and, you know, hairsprays, nail polish removers, you know, these types of things. I just had a little bit of leftover wood. Uh, this is medium density fiberboard. I could have used anything. And I just, you know, painted it flat black and, and, and put it here just to be able to give her some additional storage space, which she just absolutely loves. When you look at the construction here, let me move down below. As you look below here, this this wood that I'm screwing to is, is very, very thin. There's not much to it. So I did add, it, it looks like a leg, you'll notice here, just to be able to give it some additional support on the side. And then 
I, I did the exact same thing on this end that you'll notice and then back in the back I did the same thing back in the back just to be able to give a little bit more support that that plywood that finished wood that you see back in the back is extremely thin and you know by the time she puts makeup and other things on the shelf I just didn't want the screws getting loose here's the drawer that I put in for it's it's just again just a simple drawer on some ball bearing slides again this is where she puts things like her contacts and things like that but it just gives her a ton of space uh, that's, that's very, very comfortable, and the construction's very basic. Uh, this is some laminate. I just happen to have a small piece laying about, and um, I just put that there just to, you know, make it easy for her to clean up after, you know, if she had spills or things like that. But I could have just as well uh, painted it or put something like that on it. But, again, it was just something that I had in, had in the shop when I, I put this together. But, wow, does she really love this space uh, I did move the makeup era it, mirror for you but uh, you can kinda see how much room she has here let me show you how um, she uses her chair and gains access to the space when she gets ready to use this space we've got one of these um, folding chairs it's really comfortable it's padded uh, it actually came with our dinette and we use the, as you've seen in another video, we use the dinette uh, for my workspace. That gives her a nice, comfortable seating area here to be able to scoot up close and get her makeup on and do the things that she wants to be able to do. Joan absolutely loves it. She loves it. I scored a lot of points on this one, I gotta admit. And uh, we don't, we, we just made a decision that um, the laundry mats in the campgrounds were very, very convenient. Uh, typically, we'll wait till we have two or three loads, and we go over to the laundry, do them in an hour or two, take the Kindle, get a little reading done, and we're done for the next seven to ten days. Plus, if you've got sheets to do and things like that, and these smaller RV uh, wash machines, uh, depending on the size, I know not everyone's the same, but depending on the size of the washer and the dryer, sometimes you can only do the top sheet then the fitted sheet. Uh, we have a king size bed, so that's kind of large. And what we find, are, what we've talked to so many other people, they end up washing clothes every day. And you know, if that's if that's what you don't mind doing, awesome. I, I, I'm so glad that works out for you. But for us. We've got other things to do, and besides, <laughs> besides, Joan has a makeup area, <laughs> and why does she have a makeup area? Uh, it's just perfectly clear and simple, because I love RV life. <laughs>